Hi, my name is Suki Ko. Um, I am an uh, attending physician at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Uh, I am a professor of pediatrics at Emory University, Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America. I um, have always been interested in looking at uh, the effect of, long term effect of uh, early life seizures. And so I have clinical practice with patients with um, seizure onset younger than three years. And so I have early life epilepsy clinic, but also I've been studying in an animal model, um, looking at the long term effect of seizures um, uh, in their cognition, in their behavior, and the susceptibility to future seizures. So I've been looking at epileptogenic effect of early life seizures in, in long term uh, after having had experience of early life seizures. Um, and we have looked at different um, component of seizures, and especially looking at the brain sections that's resected from um, the pediatric patient with intractable epilepsy. And from, from there, we found um, overwhelming inflammation, brain inflammation, uh, astrocyte and microglia activation, and found different ways to um, temper down those inflammation and whether that will help decrease the susceptibility to future seizures. So um, my research uh, findings, I think, is relevant to HH uh, pop, uh, community because um, hypothalamic hematoma uh, and, and gelastic seizures associated with hypothalamic hematoma represent small group or the subgroup of drug-resistant epilepsy or in medically intractable epilepsy. Um, and what I've been hoping to uh, provide is the uh, different ways to um, decrease inflammation um, after seizures, which then can have a long-term uh, consequences of increased susceptibility to seizures and the cognitive uh, decline. Um, so what we have found is that it's not just an anti-inflammatory drug, but but um, social interaction, um, uh, uh, supportive environment, the family dynamics, um, and their, their social um, enrichment uh, can have an anti-inflammatory effect, um, such that um, those animals that were reared in the enriched environment um, had much less susceptibility to second hit. And, and the microglial activation that we were able to visualize were very much dampened by in interaction with other animals uh, being reared in a niche environment. And I think it has implication um, for uh, HH community and in uh, pediatric epilepsy at large, so that instead of trying to shelter them and be isolating in, in, in home environment, they should be undergoing therapies such as uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, speech therapy, but also being engaged um, in school, uh, in extracurricular activity, and how that those activity can be helpful for them to recover from effect of immediate and long-term effect of having had experienced frequent seizures. Um, international Symposium uh, for HH has been an uh, incredible experience for me. Um, so not only have I become more aware of uh, uniqueness and, and applicability of HH community, uh, but how, how uh, we can do better um, in bringing uh, different expertise um, and uh, perspective especially the perspective of the caregivers um, has been amazing. And I think this is where you bring the people um, together and you actually don't know what's going to come out of that meeting. This is uh, truly a, a group dynamics and um, 
I, I, I think that we become, uh, we, can, we can prioritize uh, by coming together and presenting each other's thoughts and ideas. We can prioritize what the next steps could be, where, where we could actually move forward. Um, and I've learned a lot, and I, I think um, I would be bringing what I've learned back to my institution and, and try to um, broaden uh, and educate others as well. Um, and I think it's not just HH, but in general, this kind of gathering of people can be galvanizing. And we can have more of innovative ideas coming together and bring them to action.